so I guess we could talk about Sky again and if she's good or bad with the new season coming in. Um, now, this is a very specific video. So Sky may be Valor the Trillion Swiss Army Knife. She can do stuff, you know, she can do everything. She can flash, she can stun, she can run around and do all sorts of stuff, control the map. But her place in the meta isn't quite clear yet. Like, um, a lot of people tried it out and I'm gonna be reading an article about this. Uh, and I'll let you know what I think of this uh, if she's gonna even be good in ranked because I play ranked a lot I'm actually going to diamond one and I think a lot of people should know that You know even for Reyna and Killjoy we thought it would be game-breaking But then they ended up being a tier or even worse Reyna is now B tier after some recent nerfs But at first glance Kai does it all right uh, most cases that's true like she can kill everyone you don't know where the enemies are, you can send the tiger out. You want to support your team that, you know, that storms a point, you slim the hawk in the air, right? So it flashes. You need to give your allies a healing boost. You can do that. But get around for an AoE heal and stuff like that. You can you can, you can, you can heal your, your friends, you can do anything with that. But Riot put a place in a clear character to make Sky's kit easier to swallow. So you shoot the abilities. You know, shooting the abilities is huge. Just like for Reyna, imagine if you couldn't shoot Reyna's uh, little... Uh, I think over there that would be crazy uh, Reyna would be asked you Reyna would be broken nobody would play playing the ranked right so enemies that see a hawk in the air a tire closing in so you gotta activate it at the right moment or a seeker coming in from the way can simply put a bullet into pr pr the projectile and nullify it and while Sky is casting her abilities, she's left vulnerable to enemy fire if she's not positioned correctly. All true, I don't see this a lot due to like Sava having the same issue. Uh, and usually people don't push Sava in that way, at least in uh, lower ranks. But because of this mechanic, it seems like Sky's biggest strength is her scouting potential, so she can actually see where the enemies are. Her trailblazer ability lets her scout around the corners in search of a prey with a chance of concussion enemies, though the tiger's vision is fairly nearsighted. The hawk from her guiding ability lets out a cry if it successfully blinds someone, providing further intel. And Sky gets up to three of them per round. So the projectile from her ultimate, Seekers, move fairly slow and easy to shoot. But players will at least know what direction these asylums are coming from. Uh, so if let's say for example you use her ability a second too late, well, they could shoot it down. Let's say you can't see behind the wall, you don't know when to actually activate it. They could just shoot it down, like no issues for them. And now you don't have an ability, you revealed your position. Everybody thought like Killjoy would be S tier, like I main Killjoy mostly. She's really, really, really good. But she's not needed to win in ranked. And that's what I really like about Valorant. You don't need to have every simple agent to actually win in the game. Uh, you don't need to, you know, pick a specific agent to, you know, win 30 rounds in a row. So it's not like pick Reyna and you will get 30 rounds. It's more like pick Reyna, work with your team and maybe win if you have the correct aim positioning. That's what I really like, uh, balancing and That's why Valorant is really good and ready for esports. So Sky is similarly sus susceptible to enemy fire when using her heal. Allies have to be in range and in line of sight to benefit from the healing aura, which means they are open to being fired upon, like a barrage. Uh, you know, they're, you know, anyone can just throw a nade in there, Ra raise control a nade in there and kill three basically in theory, but it's easily the most useful heal in the game more than any other heal uh, all through you only have a sage being the other healer right for now even though sky can't heal herself she can basically top off four teammates with a max of 100 health per round which is crazy uh, that's basically four extra lives but players need to avoid sacrificing their positioning to heal their allies so you know they can all move to from a to b just to get a heal right because that b is gonna be open and then you gotta retake that shit so like Phoenix or Raida, Riot asserts the sky isn't self-sufficient, is probably a team-oriented agent, just like Breach. That's really nice. She can stall or create long-term pressure, according to Riot, but instead is useful for quick movements of power. I really like how they looked into her actual abilities and everything like that, because this makes her better when attacking since she can't set up things for her teammates to capitalize on. Because Sky relies too much on coordinated effort, her user ranked mode might be risky. Like, 
What I mean is she might not get used as much as we think. We thought Killjoy will get picked in every single game. Like, whoa, having an extra mana is gonna be a 6v5? No, her turret is not strong. She, it can finish off enemies, sure, it can do some damage. I did even like backs I did as like 92 damage uh, with a Killjoy turret because I know the placements and stuff. But it's not a game changer. None of these, you know, actual agents are. So, Sky relies too much on coordinated effort. Her use in ranked mode might be risky. Like, in ranked mode, you're usually solo queuing, so... I guess, are you gonna tell them, I flashed now, go in? No. Like, it's a... It's a tough call. Like, we're not getting as many breach plays, because be breach is really coordinated as well. Um, so you can see that... You know, seems far more natural since teams spend hours every day trying to create synergy and chemistry. This is, I think this agent is specific for pro teams, but pros are obviously skilled enough to shoot Skyle's projectiles quickly, so sh why would she be used in ranked? Like potentially limiting her ceiling. So where does Sky actually fit in? Well, there's one agent who's mediocre solo queue pick, but is played in nearly 100% of competitive matches, and that would be Cypher. The surveillance expert provides excellent intel and anti-flag potential, making it a must pick for both coordinated team. So without Cypher in tournaments, you're simply not gonna win. It's simply not gonna work. You're you're not gonna get any advantages whatsoever, in my honest opinion. When I see Cypher, you know, being such a strong pick, even in solo queue, it's a pretty strong pick. Although I don't see it as much in Diamond as I should have. Um Cypher is pretty much great. Like it's fantastic how a single agent can make such a game changer, basically. Like, the trap wires, they're crazy. Like, if you can pick someone off the trap wires, that's a 4v5, right? So you have a huge potential of that. So Sky might not be good enough to replace Cypher, the professional team competitive, but she may fall in a similar okay in ranked, but she's professional, go really good in pro play. Now, this might really depend, for example, on the way you know, pro players will play her. Since she plays like a fusion between Sov and Breach, Sky can easily be swapped for one of them. She has three blinds, like Breach, and good scouting potential, like Sov. So it could be a mix between Sov and Breach, and Sov and Breach are both played in ranked. Um, her AoE makes her far superior to Sage. Sage is probably gonna be a B tier now. Maybe even a C tier, who knows. Like, Sage wall does not prevent any pushes whatsoever anymore. Um, and who's been pushed out of competitive beta after it was kit was gutted basically or patch 1.07 the ability alone isn't another reason for every team to run her since it provides insane value for little cost like sky will likely be a map by map decision so i'm guessing like something like closer maps maybe heaven uh will be more picked uh just like uh sage like uh, just like killjoy is much more picked in Ascent as uh it, you know, Sage isn't uh, picked much anymore in uh, Aston, that is. Um, Sky will likely be a map by decision, uh, spelling in tight corners at choke points. Valor's new map Icebox has plenty of close angles that can make Australian Beast Tamer work well, so I definitely think they looked into it. Hey, what if we release another map and we have a new agent over here? She might be harder to pull off in Aston due to its longer sidelines. That's exactly what I thought. So, Sky's unlikely to shake the rank meta too much. It might be just another agent. We're gonna be getting like, they want 60 agents here. So, there's a, that's a lot of god dead. There's, that's six agents per year. That's a lot. Her heal is definitely one of a kind. It could definitely heal everyone, change a lot of stuff. But as a player that gets to use to her abilities, they're showing her Hawk, Tiger, and Seekers will become more prevalent. She still requires a coordinated team effort. That's, that's a huge thing. Like, Riot may consider increasing the speed of her ability projectiles to a future patch. They're still looking at making her an optimal solo queue pick. That may also feel her heal is too powerful and maybe, you know, make it down to 33. I definitely think her abilities right now, what I'm seeing is... I, I think this is one of the most balanced agents, so huge shout out to Riot for actually making balanced agents. Like, they were looking at Raida, they, they were saying Raida is too damn powerful, like it gets picked every time, they nerfed it. Uh, they said Killjoy is too strong, they explained why Killjoy is not too strong. And it was true, like, they were correct. When we saw the trailer, we thought, well, Killjoy is gonna be an S tier, which I was definitely hoping, but it just didn't happen, right? But overall... Look, Sky uh, kit was all of dependence on teammates, just like Breach. So this is like a mix between Breach and Sova. 
and saw my bridge got both picked so this could get picked a lot in pro play or you know for that example we could just see breach plays right so i'm guessing this is just another breach to be with healing so this might get picked more than breach to be honest and if solo q has taught us anything that's what dangerous position should be in so we're not gonna be seeing much anymore from sky i'm pretty sure we're gonna get some nerfs and some buffs like her healing ability is probably gonna get nerfed because you know that's pretty strong but then again we don't have any healers you know in the meta right now so it would definitely be cool but then again her healing ability has huge disadvantages anyway let me know what you think of this video and yeah i guess there's a lot of potential that sky could have and yeah that's fine man sign out peace guys